Yo, what up guys? I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel and this is my performance review on the Anta Shock the Game 4.0. So this shoe is going for a hefty price of 85 bucks. Can you believe it? This shoe? I mean the tech in the shoe and the quality of materials doesn't blow me away but the price point definitely does. I mean this shoe can go for like 110, 120 bucks and I wouldn't complain at all but it's 85 freaking dollars. Anta is killing it with the bang for your buck category. So uh, if you guys do want to cop, I'll leave a link in the description box. I got this from Famuji Sneakers. And let's get it started off with the traction. So for the traction, uh, they're using like a wiper blade traction pattern. And uh, it was actually pretty good. You know, I was playing outdoors and it had a solid bite. I didn't really slip out or anything. Uh, I did slip out just a little bit when I was doing a very, very hard lateral movement, but I only experienced that like twice or three times. So uh, I think it was just really, really like dirty or dusty <laughs> where I was playing. I, I think I just hit like a really dirty or dusty spot because you know, like when I'm playing, when you like bounce the ball, dust comes up. <laughs> so uh, I'm playing on a very, very dirty court. And not only that, the rubber is super hard and they're saying on their site, as far as the description goes, that it's extra durable. And I have really no issues with uh, durability. I mean, it's just your normal wear and tear. There are a few parts of the outsole that are ripping off though. So uh, it's not as durable as I thought it would be, but uh, it's definitely just like normal wear and tear, you know, like if you're just playing on an outdoor court, Obviously rubber is going to wear down, but if you look closely at the grooves, the grooves aren't that deep. So for durability, I would say it's pretty good. I wouldn't say it's the best, but you can definitely make it work for outdoor use. All right, moving on to the heel to toe transition. I didn't really have any issues with this shoe. So here in the heel, you got a nice curve shape. You have a lot of heel compression and a nice curve shape here in the forefoot as well. Uh, not only that, but the forefoot flexes a lot. So uh, overall heel to toe transition is very, very smooth, even though it doesn't look like it's gonna be very smooth. You know, it kind of looks like a boot, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I had no issues with clunkiness or anything. All right, as far as the cushioning goes, they're using A-Shock 3.0. And it's basically full length. And I was quite surprised at the cushioning setup. So here in the heel, like I said, you have a good amount of heel compression. So that feels nice. And not only that, but the actual like strobe board is kind of soft. So like if I dig my finger into the actual strobe board, I can feel the A-Shock 3.0 slightly. You know, it's definitely not super soft, but you know, there is a little bit of give. And once you break it in, and you know, obviously from the heat of your foot, the glue's gonna break down a little bit. So once you break it in, it definitely does get a little bit softer as well. So the underfoot cushioning is also very, very nice. You know, it's soft. There's a nice subtle bounce. It's not as bouncy as I would like. You know, I would say it's more on the softer side but you know, you definitely get a little bit of rebound back. And not only that, but also another added bonus is the insole. The insole is very nice as well. You have a nice thick foam for the insole. So the cushioning is great, you know, impact protection, especially on heel strikes is nice. And I was playing on the outdoor court, so I didn't really have any issues there. And the forefoot is good too. You know, like I said, you have nice underfoot cushioning and surprisingly the court feel is actually good as well you know it's not the, it's not the lowest cushioning that i've ever felt but it's definitely not high i guess like in the lebrons or something so the overall cushioning setup is is awesome all right moving on to the materials so they're using a lot of materials in this shoe so uh here in the toe box area you have a blend of i guess like this mesh material this pink part is also like a mesh material but a different type of pattern and then here around the tip of the toe you have more of a synthetic material for toe drags you get a little bit more durability from that so um as far as the thickness goes i mean when i first saw it i thought it was gonna be super duper thick so i was pretty surprised when i first got it but it's not super thin yeah i would just i would say it's like average i would say it's slightly thicker than the westbrook one take or maybe around the same and then the tongue is, there's a little bit of padding. It's not super thick like the Zoom Freak 2 and the Zoom Freak 1. And then the ankle area is also kind of thin, but then you have a very, very large and a very, very nice Achilles pad. And that feels great on the Achilles. It locks your heel down as well. And also the lining material is awesome. You know, it's a very stretchy, very premium feeling lining material. It feels great on foot. So the materials are okay. You know, as far as the quality goes, I feel like they did a great job for the price and it feels good on foot. You know, uh, per personally for me, I would have liked it to be a little bit thinner, but obviously this shoe is meant for bigger guys and who want a lot of support from their shoe. And you know, this upper is cozy and it's comfortable and it conforms to your foot very well. 
All right, moving on to the fit. I went true to size and it fits me pretty damn well. So lengthwise, my toe is pretty damn close to the edge. I would say there's maybe like a centimeter or two of space. So, uh, so that's not a huge deal for me. Width wise, I would say it's normal. You know, I, I actually it looks like it's super thick, but it's it's not. It's just this plastic calendar making the shoe look a lot wider than it is. And then for the toe box area, it, it's okay. It's slightly roomy. It's not as tight as I would like, but this material really doesn't stretch out all too much. You know, um, so the fit that you get is probably going to be the fit that you kind of like have to stay with. So the fit for me overall was actually pretty nice. As for the support of the shoe, so lateral containment, this shoe is awesome. I mean, obviously your foot is not gonna go anywhere with this. What do they call it? The A-Shock Stabilizer. So uh, like we all know, Chinese companies have to name everything on their shoe. I'm surprised they didn't name this like the a pole tab or whatever, you know? So, um, but anyways, yeah, it definitely has a functional purpose. Aesthetically, I don't really know how I feel about it, but you know, it kind of looks like a hand a little bit. You know, a very weird hand that just kind of got like slapped on there you know what i'm saying uh, but yeah i mean obviously lateral support you're gonna be good a lot of stability i was good as well you know it's a very very wide base like i said the a shock stabilizer it protrudes out here in the forefoot area giving you a more stability you have a flat base as well and you're low to the ground so uh, i had no issues with lateral instability and then as far as the ankle support goes it's actually pretty good you know it goes pretty high on the ankle area and i wouldn't say it's the best ankle support i've ever felt but you know it's adequate obviously if you want crazy ankle support, you should probably wear this with an ankle brace. But if you want a little bit more ankle mobility with uh, adequate ankle support, then this is a great option. All right, moving on to the weight of this shoe. Uh, it's probably gonna be pretty damn heavy if I remember. <laughs> yeah, 16 ounces, <laughs> crazy heavy, 15.7 ounces. Yeah, so uh, this shoe is super heavy. Does it feel heavy? It feels pretty damn heavy, guys. When I first got it, I don't know why, uh, I thought it was not that heavy, but then like I, I got to playing in it and I definitely felt the weight. Uh, one good thing that they did about the shoe is that they didn't make it super like bubbly and bulky. You know what I'm saying? Like for example, in the RS Dreamer, you guys see how much this cushion protrudes out. Like your heel is basically like right there right so you see how much it protrudes out the shock the gains don't do that as much you know so it doesn't feel crazy bulky it definitely feels um, bulkier than like like maybe the zoom freak 2 or something but it's not as bulky as you know it kind of looks but it's definitely heavy and you feel the weight on your foot <laughs> 16 ounces is insane guys that's that's like lebron level and maybe even a little bit heavier than lebron's you know so obviously if you don't like heavy shoes stay away from the shoe but you know if you don't mind that then obviously this is a great option all right moving on to the ventilation nope that's that's what i'll say nope this shoe is freaking hot there's no ventilation at all there's no airflow and uh like i said the material i mean it's not super thick but you know just like all these overlays of materials it's just it's it's a hot shoe so definitely do watch out for that moving on to the aesthetics i mean i kind of like it you know it looks very very different from a lot of the designs that we've been seeing for basketball shoes. And I kind of like this colorway. I saw this other black colorway on Famuji and that colorway definitely looks really, really cool. I don't really know how you guys feel about this A-Shock stabilizer, but I don't think it looks that bad. So uh, tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics down in the comment section below. So wrapping things up, 85 bucks? Are you kidding me? This is a great option. This is a good performer. It just isn't my type of shoe. So for me personally, if you guys didn't know, I like to have a very, very minimal shoe and a very, very light shoe, which this shoe is not. So like I said, if you don't mind a heavier shoe, this is a great option. The traction is good. The cushioning is very, very soft and very comfortable. It's definitely better than, you know, Phylon or, you know, EVA or whatever. They're, they're doing a great job with this. The materials are soft and they get comfortable. They're cozy. You have a lot and a lot of support in this shoe. Like if you're a big man, and you need a lot of support in your shoe this is probably one of the best shoes you can get you know what i'm saying so i mean i, I probably wouldn't recommend it as much for like faster smaller guards uh, I, I guess if you want like a lot a lot of support then go ahead and cop it you know why not but i would recommend it for you know bigger players but that about concludes my review on the anta shock the game 4.0 again if you guys want to cop i'll leave a link in the description box thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one